Oh my goodness. Hey you guys, today we're gonna talk about informatics salary and experience, experience, experience. <laughs> from Informatics Life where I give you insight on healthcare and technology. All right, you guys, today is part two of the Informatics Salary Series where I'm giving you a big picture of what influences your salary as an informatics specialist. Whether it's a nursing informatics specialist or a health informatics specialist, we all in this together, all right? So let's talk about experience, 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 because experience does matter. Let's talk about some things. What type of experience am I talking about? So experience really does influence your salary. You know what I'm saying? So like, for instance, if you are RT specialist, you've had that interaction with patients you know what their concerns are. You know what their needs are. You understand the respiratory science behind patient care. So when it comes to building or teaching or influencing documentation design, you have some really good knowledge to make some really good decisions. Same thing for sonography, same thing for nursing, same thing as a PA or a physician or an LPN. Whomever you are, if you have any type of bedside experience, that matters, all right? Also, having that degree matters because that, that's like your bedside experience. You can't get in bedside without a degree, pretty much. You can take care of patients. So, <laughs> so remember, that's the first one I want to talk about as far as experience because it matters, all right? Now, I'm not saying they're going to low you if you don't have patient experience, but they might give you a little boost, you know, because they know, hey, you're gonna make some pretty good decisions because you have 10 years of experience. You have 12 years, you have 20 years of experience, or at least you have two, you have some, you know what I'm saying? The next one that could influence salary is project management. Have you ever orchestrated a project, a technology project around a hospital facility? That is definitely something impressive when someone is looking for an informatics specialist. It also depends on the department you're working for. Some departments might be like, eh, we don't really care about your project management experience because we don't really need that here. So you have to know like what department you're gonna be working for and if project management is going to matter or not. Because if it does, good for you. If it doesn't, it might just be even kill for you. Because informatics specialists, they can work as a process architect, they can work as project managers or process improvement specialists. They can work, oh my gosh. Again, that's gotta be a whole nother video. <laughs> I go through all the job opportunities you guys can have out there. So that's the next one is project management experience. So there are certifications out there. If that's something you really wanna get into, like get your degree in informatics, but then also get a certification under project management. You are going to really improve your chances of getting hired, but also them jumping that salary up a little bit more because you are certified in project management. But you don't need it, I'm just being clear. Like you don't really need it, but if you want it, it just helps you out. And I'm buying. The next one I wanna talk about is So some of informatics specialists, they love to sit behind a computer all day long. Woo! I love that they love to do that because God bless you. I have a lot of co-workers who I love to work with. They are amazing people, but they sit behind a computer all day long, building, designing, all that stuff. That's awesome. Woo! If you have experience with Cerner or Epic or Sunrise or whatever it may be, that actually helps you get a job, you know, and get that salary up because you're coming in with some type of build experience. Like I said before, you can do 
you know, documentation. You can focus on alerts. You can focus on orders and power plans. You can focus on, uh, oh my gosh, there's so much. I can like run through my head of all the different things that informatics specialists could do and as far as building. So therefore, just letting you know that if you come with some build experience, um, that's really good. Now, you're probably like, I don't have any experience in any of that, Jennifer. So how can I ever get experience? That is the challenging question, you guys, because a lot of times they'll be like, we're looking for someone with experience. I'm like, can you give me some experience, please? And, you know, you just got to keep trying, keep trying to get into those jobs. If a documentation system ha offers a course and you find out about it, take the opportunity. See if you can shadow someone one day in your informatics department to see if that is even something you want to do. And if you find out, wow, I really love this. Try to slide in any type of IT department in your facility or your organization that maybe potentially gives you the opportunity to slide into the build zone. Another idea that I can help you maybe get into the build zone, which I have experienced over the years and seeing a lot of people that work with me slide into the IT zone is got to work for nursing informatics department where you do a lot of teaching, you do a lot of instruction, you do a lot of uh, build designs. It's kind of like the pre-stage before you go to the IT build side. So my recommendation is try to get into the nursing informatics department and then build your rapport up, get to know the IT specialist. If your hospital or your organization works like that, where the informatics specialist works closely with the builders. So just work your, work your tail off until you get some experience in the informatics and then maybe it'll open the door for you in the, the more of the IT build design side of the informatics. So that is like, some really good tips that I can tell you. Also, it's really important that you do a good job when you're in the nursing informatics department. <laughs> because if you have good rapport with the design, the, the builders, they'll get to know you and they'll be like, you know, hey, I wouldn't mind having that person on my team. So when an opportunity opens, your name is out there already. And you could potentially go to the IT side and because you know the leadership and you know they like you and it will probably work out well for you over there, especially because you know what they do and you'll be happy over there if that's something you wanna do. <laughs> so the last part of the experience, experience, experience I wanna talk about is teaching. You know, if you have some type of instructional background, you're probably like, Jennifer, I'm a nurse. I, I've never went to school for teaching. I know, I know, I know what you're saying. What I mean is, have you been a preceptor? Have you been an educator before? No, well then sign up to precept someone. How do you know you're gonna like to teach? You know, especially if you're trying to get into the informatics department where we do a lot of teaching. A lot of teaching, <laughs> new technology. <laughs> so if you don't like teaching, don't become an informatics nurse specialist or skip over this and go into the IT build side <laughs> because <laughs> if you don't like teaching, it's just not gonna work out for you. Now I have seen a lot of people who were just not into teaching, a lot of my amazing introverts, but you know what? they have become exceptional, amazing teachers of technology. And some have moved on to the IT side, and I am so proud of them because they picked up an amazing skill of teaching. But if you have that teaching skill beforehand, that does help leadership with an informatics department say, wow, you've been a preceptor for four years. We know that you can interact with people. We know you work well with people. We know that you can teach people. And they'll hopefully give you a little boost in your salary because they're like, oh, okay, you're coming in with some experience. Okay, so I hope you learn about experience because experience matters for the informatics salary. If you like this shirt, 
check down in the description below and rock yours too. I have one for the health informatics specialist as well. Thank you everyone for subscribing so far. I really appreciate you. And I hope that I'm able to share some information with you to help you in your future decisions as well as successes in life. I have two more of this part series coming for you and I'm excited to share it with you guys. All right, this is Jen Lewis, informatics specialist, signing off. See ya. Experience, experience, experience. <laughs> that show, it just did not like go up in the air. Like it was supposed to like fly up and like calm down, but the whole thing just, just was totally a bummer. <laughs> I'm trying. All right.